Beware of Toilet Snake. Item number, SCP-3414. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3414 is currently under the administration of the Kenyan Slum Cleanliness Program, KSCP, a Foundation-affiliated slum upgrading initiative. For concealment purposes, it has been incorporated into KSCP's administrative building in the Kibera District. SCP-3414's entrance is to be secured with a pair of steel braces to prevent accidental activation. The braces should only be retracted for experimental or feeding purposes. Once a month, a live sedated pig, or weight equivalent livestock, is to be introduced into SCP-3414. SCP-3414 should then be rinsed with fresh water and non-synthetic disinfectant. Description: SCP-3414 is a public latrine located in Kibera, Nairobi. Like its neighboring units, it contains a single poor flush toilet opening into a shared underground pit. The words, Beware Snake, are written on the side of SCP-3414. Its origin is unknown, as it appears to predate the initial manifestation of SCP-3414's anomalous effects. SCP-3414 activates when a live, warm-blooded organism exceeding roughly 20 kilograms in weight enters it completely. If left unobstructed, SCP-3414's door will then shut for the following 10 to 12 minutes. Reinforced observational devices placed within SCP-3414 have recorded the following during this period. Local direction of gravity shifting in a periodic pitching slash rolling motion. Twisting of ceiling and walls to crush and churn introduced foreign material. This process is invariably fatal for SCP-3414's occupants. Notably, SCP-3414's walls appear structurally sound when inspected afterwards, but remain slightly warm and pliable to the touch for 6 to 8 hours following deactivation. Dark brown slurry ejecting from the toilet at an estimated rate of 10 kilograms per second. Slurry is largely composed of leaves, 5%, partially digested biological tissue, 22%, and fresh water, 76%. Testing of biomatter suggests primarily Piscine origin, though mammalian and avian skeletal remains have also been found. At the end of the activation period, the slurry, along with crushed organic remains, is evacuated back into the toilet under suction. SCP-3414's internal structure will further distort to accommodate the evacuation of all organic material within itself, though with some selectiveness. Notably, SCP-3414 tends to avoid ingesting skulls, crushing them, but not evacuating them through its toilet. Microbiological profile of the slurry matches similar readouts from samples collected in the Amazon basin, specifically along the lower course of the Rio Negro. This finding is corroborated by genetic profiling of leaves and tissue remains, further narrowing the region of origin as an Avianas National Park in Brazil. The waste pit below SCP-3414 has been examined and deemed to be non-anomalous. Analysis of pit waste revealed no sign of SCP-3414's ingested material, warranting further investigation into SCP-3414's ingestion process. Addendum 1. Ingestion Log Date. May 9th, 2017 Activation Length. 10 minutes. Approximate. Subject. J. Mwangi. Remarks. Initial SCP-3414 activation. Subject could not be recovered. Identity of subject confirmed by DNA analysis of biological remnants and bone fragments. Presence of non-human DNA in the remains as well as unusual circumstances of death alerted contacts and local law enforcement, who brought the anomaly to Foundation attention. Date. June 10th, 2017. Activation length. 0 minutes, 52 seconds. Subject. Agent S. Kamau. Remarks. Triggered by subject following initial containment. Subject reported being quickly overwhelmed by ejected slurry with SCP-3414's walls contorting to immobilize him. Subject was then forcefully drawn into SCP-3414's toilet, feet first, resulting in crushing injury to both legs up to the kneecap. Subsequent forcing open of SCP-3414's door interrupted the ingestion process, allowing subject's rescue. Subject was able to be stabilized on the spot, but expired three days later, following complications from sepsis. 
Date, October 10th, 2017. Activation length, 11 minutes, 33 seconds. Subject, live sedated pig. Remarks, inserted to determine activation threshold. Head and torso of subject left crushed, but uningested, suggesting selectiveness on part of SCP-3414. Addendum 2. Updated Containment Procedures. On April 5th, 2018, SCP-3414 ejected a large amount of brown slurry from its toilet without activating beforehand. Slurry was substantially more acidic than previous ejections, bearing a pH of 2 and containing high concentrations of hydrochloric acid. Following cleanup, SCP-3414's walls began to peel, shedding a translucent mucus-like substance and leaking a dilute red liquid, later identified as blood. Ejections continued every few hours over the course of the next few days, severely complicating existing waste disposal measures owing to the location of the containment site. Meanwhile, genetic analysis of the blood revealed that it belonged to a single individual of Eunectes Mirinus, Green Anaconda. Further CBC testing revealed abnormally low prealbumin levels, suggesting acute malnutrition. Following the advice of resident herpetologist Dr. S. Nyong'o, it was decided that live organic material be administered to SCP-3414 to alleviate this new complication. Delivery of one live pig into SCP-3414 caused the ejections to cease at once and was accompanied by what attending researchers described as a high-pitched hissing sound coming from the ground. Subsequently, containment procedures were updated to their current iteration to involve regular delivery of livestock into SCP-3414.